Should I sell my home during the holidays? This is a question I keep hearing over and over. Maybe you had your home on the market during the spring and summer and it didn't sell. So you start to question yourself, should I sell it now when the holidays are starting or should I wait till next year? In this video, I'm going to share with you four reasons why you should consider selling your home during the holiday. Stay tuned. Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Christian Medina, your local real estate expert here in Chino, California, working out of Realty Masters and Associates in Rancho Cucamonga. If you're new to this channel and would like to continue getting free real estate information, whether you're buying or selling, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell. That way you'll be alerted every time I put up a new video. All right, so should I sell my house during the holidays is a question that many sellers go through. You have one seller that listed their home during the spring and summer and were not able to successfully sell their home. So now they're thinking whether to either sell it during the holiday season or wait till next year. Or maybe you're just a seller that's been thinking of selling your home and are debating, hey, should I sell my home during the holidays or should I wait till next year during the spring or in the summer? Because that's when most of the homes sell. And if you think that way, you're not wrong. Here in my city of Chino back in 2018, during spring and summer, which is the months between March 20th and September 22nd, there were 451 homes that sold versus what sold during the holiday season between November and December, where 108 homes sold. So the seller's question is valid on why they would want to wait to either spring or summer of the following year because more homes tend to sell around that season. But I'm going to share with you the first reason on why you should sell during the holidays. So during the spring and summer, that's when everyone decides to put their home up for sale. So that means there's more competition. And if you're a seller that had your home on the market during that time and didn't sell, it's because there were too many homes for buyers to choose from. Versus now during the holidays when the inventory is low, that equals less competition for your home. And those buyers looking during the holidays are very serious buyers. Those buyers are not doing it for fun. They're not putting out their big coats going through the cold weather just to go look at a home for fun. So with less competition and serious buyers, for you as a seller, it's always nice to be one of the only options. Reason number two is your home just shows a lot better during the holidays than it would during the spring or summer. You see, it's all about getting that positive emotional feeling from your buyers and what's more emotional than the holidays. <laughs> At the end of the day, your home is going to show well no matter what season, as long as you prep it properly. You can either do it yourself or hire a stager to take care of that for you. And again, what's more emotional than walking into a home that's decorated for the holidays? Just imagine being there with your friends and family, envisioning all the memories you're going to have with them, anywhere from putting the tree up, picturing where the tree would go, how you would decorate the house, and just seeing yourself and your family spending that time in the home. So that sounds more emotional to me than just walking into a house with nice flowers in the lawn. Let me know what you think. Reason number three is that buyers have more time off of work to be able to shop around for homes during the holidays. As you know, a lot of people take the week of Christmas off and also New Year's, and that allows the more serious buyers more time to go look at properties. And because days are shorter due to it getting darker sooner, buyers will have a few hours during the day to come and look at your home, therefore allowing you more time with your family later. And reason number four, when you sell your home and you're looking to buy another home, you put yourself in a better position. What this means is that escrows are typically 30 to 45 days. So say you sell your home between November or December. Now let's say you close your home and it's the first week or the second week of January. You now have those funds in the bank. And what that does for you is that you're gonna go sit with a lender, get pre-qualified, and now you're in a much better position to be able to buy as a non-contingent buyer. Meaning, you don't have to wait for your house to sell in order to buy the next one. And now when you're writing up an offer for that perfect home, you can put 10, 15, 20% or more down towards that home, which again will put you in a much better position than all the other buyers that are either coming in with less money down or are contingent buyers, meaning again, that they would have to sell their home in order to be able to buy that one. Well, that does it for this video. Once again, thank you for watching. And if you're a seller looking to sell now or sell later, 
and you want to get some tips on how to add more value to your home, check out this video up here. Thank you very much. Have a happy holiday. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you guys on the next video.